Hello, I'm uh, Aldero from the, working for the European Commission Joint Research Centre in uh, Italy. Uh, we had an interesting session last evening on early warning systems. Uh, myself, my group is working on an early warning system for floods. Uh, uh, we had lectures from uh, a person from the World Food Programme who is operationally involved in, uh, in early warning and uh, crisis uh, assistance. Uh, and it seems like early warning systems are getting better and better lately. Uh, so we, there exist early warning systems for tsunamis that shortly after the tsunami, after the earthquake, within 30 minutes an assessment can be made of what areas are affected. Uh, for floods and forest fires it's even better. We can make forecasts several days before the crisis and get that to the right, uh, to the right authorities. Uh, and for earthquakes you can also within several minutes you can make a damage assessment what, uh, what, what happened. So techniques are evolving. Um, on the downstream side, however, it's still a problem to get the warning to the right people on the right time. So the people that are potentially affected, to get the message to them. So that's still an, uh, an area of attention. Uh, but the promising thing Sorry. is that the... Uh, Sorry. Could we start maybe again with, uh, with the downside? Okay. Just pick up from yes, there. Sure. Huh? Okay. okay. Yeah, a bit of the downs downside of, uh, of the early warning is that it's still difficult to reach the right people at the right time. And so to get as quickly as possible the early warning message to the people that are potentially affected, because in the end that is what counts. So we, we still have to not lose that out of, out of attention, that we should not look only to technologies but, uh, but also to, to that part of the problem. But uh, I must say it's, it's impressive to see how over the last three years techniques have advanced. So. Um, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh, things are looking better and better. Okay. I ask a follow-up question. Maybe um, has there been discussion of, an example, how to spread the word after the the, the institute or whatever has gotten the early warning? How do you get it to the people? What what has been discussed about this? Well, one issue to get the warning to the to the people on time is bas basically a legal or a responsibility issue. Like it's, it's in many cases a responsibility of national organizations to get the warning to their, to their public. And international organizations or in any case organizations outside a country uh, are typically not the ones having to do that. Sometimes they could do it, they have the technology to do it. So it's more like an institutional problem. Uh, because in, in many countries people the civil protection authorities in a country, they would like to stay in control and legally they're right. It's their mandate to, 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 to warn the public. Um, but there are still things to do there. So within a short period of time, the technologies are evolving. We should get them to the right authorities in, the, in those countries and they should act immediately. And there are still, you know, there we still lose time and people are hesitating. And that's, that's an area where we should work on. Thank you very much. Okay.